polygamy? How did polygamy get into the law of marriage? The question of polygamy is uh, truly the question of the nexus between the law and the cultures of the people. The people have got practices, traditions, and customs plus beliefs that make them live using certain rules known as social rules, customary rules, and also moral rules. However, still, polygamy is opposed to monogamy. What does it mean? Polygamy means that one man is attached in a marital union to more than one wife at the same time. Whereas monogamy means the opposite. One man is attached to one woman at the same time in marriage. There are so many other terminologies that are derived from other disciplines such as anthropology, cultural studies, African studies, and many other studies including history. Another terminology or set of words I want to include here should be endogamy as opposed to exogamy. Endogamy means within the sanguine groups, one can get married to a cousin from the third degree and beyond, and that is within a clan, or within a group set. Whereas exogamy means that one must marry only from outside his or her sanguine group, no marriage is allowed among relatives or between relatives. Then we have polyandry. Polyandry instead means that one woman can attach herself in marriage to more than one man. In this case, it is the woman looking for a man to marry and she can attach herself to more than one man and in that case it is considered polyandry. This practice is indeed very rare and it is found among some ethnic groups and tribes in the southern part of Africa, namely in Mozambique, Malawi, Zimbabwe, Zambia and some parts of Namibia and most importantly, the Chilombwe people still practice polyandry. However, with the coming of Christianity in Africa, in the 19th century, the question of polygamy has been vilified, bedeviled, as well as demonized by Christians and in that case, Christianity introduced monogamy. That is one man, one wife, and that is joined within the concept of love, the soulmates. However, still, we don't rule out the nexus between the law and culture. Some people still perceive marriage as monogamous while some perceive marriage as polygamous. It all depends on the cultural context, the cultural background, the mentality, because we admitted in the previous presentations that African customary law is in dynamic social change, economic change, political change, but as well as civilization brought about by formal education, the introduction of formal education in which many men and women are educated formally and, and in the understanding 
of their rights and obligations within the law. Another change or dynamics within the Marriage Act is within the principles of human rights that are advocated today under the United Nations and some international institutions, non-governmental organizations, intergovernmental organizations. Another dynamic is this style of life, modernity, civilization, how people want their families to look like. There are so many things to determine, but from the legal perspective, the interest of law comes by looking at the cultural context of the people in terms of disputes or certain violations of fundamental rights of the people themselves. In that case, there is a requirement that every type of marriage must be registered in the Republic of Kenya. The Act of Marriage, known as Marriage Act of 2014, sanctions some types of marriage. One can marry through the state law, that is the statute, under the stipulations of the statute. One can also marry under customary traditional marriages, that includes African customary marriage. The statute also recognizes religious marriages, Christian marriages, or perhaps Hindu marriages, or Islamic marriages. This is to reduce so many disputes and complaints that sometimes occur in certain marriages at the point of divorce or after disease of one of the parties and in that case the questions of succession rights and again the probate issues such as management of matrimonial property. Another issue is about children, the child custody or the child guardianship and how child upbringing is regulated within the Republic. All this enables us again to understand such difficult concepts as polygamy, monogamy, polyandry, polygyny, as well as exogamy and endogamy. All these kind of expressions of concepts are founded within the family law and vis-a-vis -vis in a particular area, the marriage law. This is where questions of unions are regulated by the law. But however, with the modern understanding, one is at liberty to make his or her own choice within the cultural framework and the legal framework that is in force. It is in this way of looking at it that we can conceptualize polygamy and see how law interrelates with the culture of the peoples across the world, whether it is in Africa, in Asia, in Europe, or in America, or in Oceania. Thank you for watching. Peter here. University of Nairobi School of Law, Kisumu Campus. I ask you again to sign up to these video snapshots because they help us to understand or to improve on what we already know. If you like it, share it with your friends and the people you trust. Thank you and bye for now.